Always Already, taken from the Alatheon, Volume 1, the divine avataric self-revelation of his divine presence, Avatar Adidas Samraj. Changes of the body-mind-self are not divine self-realization. Having, as Narcissus, already presumed separate self and separate world, and his or her thus separate worldly involvements to be the case, my devotee must necessarily embrace the radical or at the root process of demonstrating the always prior transcending of egoity and of thus and thereby demonstrating the reality transcending of all search and necessity relative to the first six or egoic and merely conditionally developmental stages of life such that he or she always really and directly demonstrates the reality transcending or always prior transcending of egoity in all of its various gross, subtle and causal forms. Nevertheless, the changes in the experiential conditions of the body-mind-self that arise, even in the context of the demonstration process of the reality practice in which egoity is really and directly transcended, are not in and of themselves divine self-realization or realization of me as I am. Rather, any and all such experiential changes are simply characteristics that arise in the case of my devotees, who are maturing toward the perfect practice of the only by me revealed and given radical or at the root reality way of Adidam or Adidam Yashiradam. Ultimately, in the perfect practice of the reality way of Adidam, I am realized as I am. Realization of me is realization of that which is always already the case. Realization of me is not itself realization of changes in the body mind self. Realization of me is not based on doing something with the body mind self or on doing something to the body mind self or on experiencing something in and as the body mind self or in and as the world. Realization of me is only about that which is always already the case, not about changes of whatever nature. Indeed, realization of me is not about anything that happens to the body myself. Realization of me is only about awakening to that which is always already the case. Thus, realization of me is only about awakening to the divine self-nature, self-condition and self-state as it is. Realization of me is not about entertaining mere ideas relative to the divine self-nature, self-condition and self-state, nor is realization of me about engaging a practice of dissociative introversion upon the divine self-nature, self-condition and self-state, as if it were inside, something the ego I is otherwise and already identifying and being as self. When the egoic position is simply or tacitly and always already or priorly not presumed, then the transcendental spiritual self-nature, self-condition and self-state of that, which is always already the case, is directly self-revealed and directly self-given by the direct means of my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual grace. If the transcendental spiritual self-nature, self-condition and self-state of that which is always already the case were experientially self-evident to the ego-based or self-contracted body-mind-self or psychophysical point of view, it would be experientially realized in your own case, in your case now. The transcendental spiritual self-nature, self-condition and self-state of reality itself, which is that which is always, always already the case, is not and cannot be experienced by the ego I of body, mind and point of view. 
rather the transcendental spiritual self-nature, self-condition and self-state of reality itself can only be directly self-realized as it is and as such only by transcendental spiritual means. Therefore, devotionally recognize me, devotionally respond to me, live by my divine avataric instruction, turn to me, be surrendered to me by that constant turning, live the practice of the reality of, of Adidam seriously and bring the body-mind-self to one-pointed concentration in me rather than merely wandering like a separate planet, pursuing your self-patterned course in the night sky of egoic life. Do not remain ego-possessed, as if you were an independent centre of virtue. Turn to me only, and be entirely surrendered to me, and thus perfectly given to me, such that the transcendental spiritual radiance of my divine avataric person can unknot the search of total body-mind and grant the realization of perfect knowledge of my divine transcendental spiritual state as a free gift, self-evidently shining priorly and beyond all doubt. Such realization of perfect knowledge of me is the necessary beginning of the perfect practice of the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adi Dam. And the most perfect realization of me, or perfect knowledge of me, in the third stage of the perfect practice, or the seventh stage of life, is the most perfect demonstration of the only by me revealed and given radical, or at the root, reality way of Adi Dam, or Adi Dam in that most perfect demonstration, there is the self-abiding divine self-recognition of all patterns of arising as merely apparent modifications of the intrinsically egoless, indivisible and self-evidently divine reality that is always already the case. In due course, this intrinsically all-in-all -in -all transcending demonstration becomes divine indifference. And, most ultimately, this most perfect and divinely indifferent demonstration outshines all of conditional existence in divine translation. Such is the transcendental spiritual nature of right, true and inherently perfect realization of me.